My name is Alan Hart and today we're doing day in the life of a plumber stroke gas engineer. So today we're doing a power flush on an open vent system and we've been called out to uh, Ideologic. The customer has wanted to put this onto a service contract and the energy supplier has said that it needs flushing. So that's what we're here to do today. So what I'm going to do is I'll do like an overview of what we're doing and I'll take out the pump out and, and I'll show you how I flush a heating system. So let's go and have a look. So with this type of system we have a header tank up in the loft. So what we've got here, we've got a flow that comes up from the boiler. It goes up through the filter. So we've got a Spirotech filter on, on this. And then we've got a pump. So it goes around here. And then we've got a heating zone that goes for the heating and then we've got another zone valve there and that goes for the hot water cylinder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this pump out on here and then I'm going to connect the power flush machine into this. So a bit of a change of plan. The nuts on the pump's quite quite hard to get off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the filter out I'm going to flush, I'm going to connect my adapter in there. So I'm going to remove the filter anyway because I'm going to put it on return because it's always better on return. So let's take this out. So I need to remove this olive off here. So I'm going to use this monument olive puller. makes it a bit easier. You can see in there it's definitely got muck in it. So I've connected machine in there with them connectors and then if we have a look I've also connected the magna cleansing and what I've done with magna cleanse is I've took one of the connectors off at magna cleanse and then I swapped it Put it onto the hose for the power flush machine and on the other end of that this this is off the blue hose so i've just made it so that we can adapt it so we can use the magna cleanse with this power flush machine so this has got a combined cold feed and expansion so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this and i'm going to put a stop end on it and then we can flush the system so this is the pipe that goes up to the header tank so it's your combined cold feed and expansion now the header tank still has the header tank is still full of water and there's no water coming out of here so this this is actually blocked so that's something we need to sort out as well so those magnets are nice and clean to start with so we're just flushing it now So I've connected the cold feed there and I've put a nose pipe on it. And then what I'm doing now is I'm running tank and we're just trying to clear that pipe out. So I've just been trying to wash this tank out. Still got a bit more to clean out of there yet. So I'm going to put some power flush chemicals in now. So you can use various different manufacturers chemicals and then we're going to heat the system let it run around for about half an hour to an hour with all the radiators fully open and then once we've done that i'm going to turn all the radiators off apart from one and then i'm going to let the machine flush through that with the chemicals until that's clean and then what we'll do then is reverse the flow on that and just just make sure that that radiator is nice and clean and then what we'll do we'll go to the next radiator open the next radiator and then we'll turn the last radiator off and then we'll do that all the way around the system until all the radiators are all nice and warm and all working and then what we'll do is we'll we'll start dumping it and we'll put cold water in and then we'll dump it as well at the same time so i'm going to go do that now so we can also do this with the boiler running on this one so we'll get heat into the system so it's been running now just for a few minutes 
you can see there it's already got quite a lot on it and that one as well so we'll clean that out now so then we can check them with thermal imaging camera so you can clearly see on that that we've got a lot of flow on right hand side there and then we've got flow on left hand side as well so we just need to get this a bit better this thermal imaging camera is not great to be honest but it gives us an idea So according to this we've got about a 74 now on bottom of radiator. And then you can see it sort of like stops there. And then you can see then we've got 53. And 67. So we can see that bottom of that radiator has still got sludge in it. So let's just reverse the flow on this now. So I've turned the boiler off now, but we've still got the flushing machine going round. So if we have a look, the temperature there now, it's about 67 at one side. It's about 69 at the other. And then in the middle, we've got it's about 65, 66, 65. So it's certainly made a big difference now. So we can see there that we've just got a little bit more just to clear out. So it's warm on one side, it's warm across all of the side. And then we've just got that. So we're going to turn the machine back and forth to try and clear that. So what we'll do, we'll go back and forth with the flow on the machine and we'll get that cleared out and then we'll move on to the next radiator and then we'll do the same again. So this one definitely needed flushing. No doubts about it. So I've took the filter out now, connected the pump back in and we've actually updated the pipe work because that was blocked with that. So I've repiped, I've repiped the uh, cold feed and expansion. And now we're just going to put some F1 inhibitor into the system just to try and protect it for future. Right then guys, that's it, all done. Um, so what did we do? We did, a, we did a power flush on an open vent heating system. And as you've seen, the, the magnetic filters, there was a lot of magnetite on them. The system was really badly sludged up. So yeah, so we spent some time flushing that system out. Um, I hope this video was of some use to somebody. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask in comments below. Thanks for watching.